Hi guys, so today I want to make a video on how I passed the NCLEX in 75 questions. Uh, let's see, I took the NCLEX actually three years ago as of tomorrow. I took it on August 26th. It's August 25th right now when I'm recording this. And I took the NCLEX three years ago and I get so many questions from you guys about how I asked and how I prepared for the NCLEX so I wanted to talk to you about it. Hands down, the thing that I can stress the most about preparing for the NCLEX is making sure you are practicing and preparing well in advance to taking the NCLEX. So for me personally, I knew that I wanted to take the NCLEX right after I graduated nursing school. I graduated I think on August 15th, I took it August 26th. Maybe that's crazy to some, but I didn't think I needed months to prepare for the NCLEX because I just spent all of nursing school preparing for the NCLEX. So I really buckled down and started preparing for the NCLEX about four months out from graduation, which was like my last semester of nursing school. So my senior, senior last semester of nursing school, I also was going home and not just doing that stuff, but preparing for the NCLEX as well. And the main thing that I did was practice NCLEX style questions. Like, I didn't use any books or anything like that. I just downloaded, at the time it was the NCLEX Mastery app and I'm pretty sure that's still a thing. Um, and I just took questions after questions after questions after questions after questions. And I basically trained myself using these questions like it was a marathon. So if you're preparing for a marathon, you don't start off by running the 26.2 or whatever it is, miles. To train. You start off by running a couple miles and then you add on a couple more, couple more, couple more and you build yourself up to running the full marathon mileage and then you taper back before your marathon actually happens and that's so that way your body can kind of rest. So that was my mindset for preparing for the NCLEX. I started off by taking just maybe 20 or 30 questions a day and I'd go up to 50 a day and then I got up to 100 a day and eventually I would do like 300 or 400 questions in one sitting and then a couple weeks prior to the NCLEX I tapered off and then like the week or two prior I was maybe just doing like 20 or 30 questions again and the day prior to the NCLEX I didn't do anything. I just took that day off to not do any questions so that way I didn't psych myself out. A lot of you guys ask for NCLEX question recommendations or books that I recommend. So I love the NCLEX Mastery app, that's what I used at the time, but my current favorite that I recommend is the SimClex by NRSNG. They have I think over 4,500 um, NCLEX practice questions with rationales for you guys to use. So I will leave that link down below if you are interested in checking that out. But the biggest thing is lots of questions and then learn from the questions that you um, didn't do well on or read the rationales. Another tip that I have, and this is what I tell you guys as well, is don't focus all your time on the things that are not gonna be a large percentage of the NCLEX. So when I took the NCLEX, and I'm not sure if it's changed or not, I'm sure it's still similar, med surge was a huge portion of NCLEX. Pharmacology was a decent portion of the NCLEX. So I spent a lot of time on learning those subjects so that way I had like the majority portion of the NCLEX material, um, not memorized, obviously you can't memorize everything, but I felt comfortable about a big portion, whereas PEDS or OB is not so much on there, so don't focus on the small percentage of what's gonna be on the NCLEX, focus on the big chunk of things. I hope these are some helpful tips for you guys. This is what I did to prepare, and I'm super thankful that I passed and it's done with, and honestly, once you pass the NCLEX and you become a registered nurse, you don't really think about the NCLEX ever again. The only reason I think about it is because you guys ask me about it a lot, so I wanted to share my tips and advice for you guys. And whether you pass the NCLEX in 75 questions, or you pass in 200 questions, or you fail the first time, or fail the second time, we all have different journeys to becoming a nurse, so you shouldn't feel ashamed if you got more than 75 questions and you still passed, or maybe you didn't pass the first time. Just change your study habits and push forward and retake it. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.